Shalom, Akiam. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash, the bonus of the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. We are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Samo Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. And according to the Holy Scriptures, we're God chosen people. Shalom to all the brothers out there, pushes knowledge and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters and shalom to the Israelite foreigners who are scattered abroad. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one ignorant called Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one ignorant called God, the one ignorant called Jehovah, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. We call upon the most sign his son, you must say Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh means he exists, the existing one. Bahashem means in the name, and Yahweh Shai means he delivers. Our Lord and Savior is coming back to deliver the elect out of the nation of Israel upon the destruction of the modern day Babylon, aka America. All right, coming back at you with another lesson based upon this video. What I'm going to show is about the concentration camps. You know, um, some of us brothers will be uh, tossed into these camps, some of us will get tortured, and some of us will be martyrs. You know, some brothers will get that spiritual power in there. And certain brothers will be, you know, busting in certain camps to deliver the elect or whatever the situation is. But it's going to be a perfect balance in the eyes of your Heavenly Father. So when these things happen, man, you know, it's uh, pretty much going to be, you know, be, be of good cheer, so to speak. It's going to be very intense. You know, you're going to see a lot of crazy stuff going on. But you got to remember the, the ancient apostles and Yahweh Shai, man, went through that. And Yahweh Shai rose from the dead. And brothers will be regenerated when Yahweh Shai returns, you know. So giving all praise to Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai for even giving us this opportunity to teach his word and to receive this, his word in sincerity and truth. My car's in the repair center, so I can't wait to get home to tell you guys what's going on. I have two videos to show you. I had shown you one before, and now I gotta show you the next one. I had shown you guys this video before, and this is in China. Pay attention. Right, so the first video, you know, whoever this guy is, is showing you a video of China. In the second video, you can hear this so-called black woman in the background. What the F is this? In Alabama, man, so this thing is a worldwide event. So, you know, A, the devil with great wrath is going to come down because he know you have but a short time. And it's not by coincidence you see you know, all these chariot sightings, new brothers, you know, popping up, you know, a lot of believers or being awoke, man, man, pull out of this deep, dark sleep. So everything is recorded in the scriptures, man, and, and the Most High left these things for us to keep us encouraged and, and to keep us uh, with, a, with a strong mental state because you're going to have to have a strong mind. Pretty much you got to be of the elect to uh, be able to endure the catastrophic things that's, that the Most High is going to bring down upon this place, man, and which he's doing right now as well. But the main the main focal point will be America, okay? This is Revelation chapter 12, verse 10. And I heard a loud voice in heaven. A slack. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength. Now has come salvation and strength. Because at one point, we didn't have any strength. We out here as dry bones, no hope, lost. Now the most eyes open up, uh, what you call, open up our minds to receive his name, his son's name, and his truth. We are we have an intimate relationship with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? In the kingdom of our God, in the power of his anointed, the word Christ means anointed, for the accuser of thy brethren is cast down, 
which has accused them before our God day and night. So the accuser of thy brethren is Esau. You understand what I'm saying? So-called white man has unlimited resources and he runs all these different corporations, runs all these different secret societies, they, they, um, all your different, uh, what you call, uh, like, uh, like the CIA, FBI, you know, all your different um, top military places, um, if you call, they, they, they control the top military officials, they control the money, so on and so forth. So pretty much, you're not going to see them in the forefront you know, with, with, with their hands in their pocket doing dirt. They have people do that, that they that they pay, they pay off. They have puppets who um who are like gatekeepers onto our people as well. So they have our you know, have these people set up as puppets and they go against our own. You understand what I'm saying? That's the accuser of thy brethren, that's how they get down. And various other things, man. Pretty much they put the snare in front of us through different other mechanisms, but you don't see them. You know? And various other things like that, so. Right. For the accuser, so I can read off verse 10 again. And I heard a loud voice in heaven. Now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his anointed. For the accuser of thy brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. And they do that through witchcraft, do that through enchantments. They, they set up these rappers, set up all these different shows and these different movements to throw our people off, man. And then they pretty much say, look, look at your people, look what they're doing. But the most I preserved that a small remnant who's not going to fall for these snares and traps. Verse 11, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto death. So that's how we able to overcome. You know, by the blood, because that's what the Lord died for. The nation of Israel, but this time around, the elect, the small remnant. The small remnant, man. And by the word of their testimony, this is what we have. This word, and we out here testifying, prophesying, uh, week in and week out, man. Through the Holy Spirit. And they love not their lives unto death. So, in much knowledge is much grief. So, you find out what's really going on. Through Job 9 and 24, the earth is given to the hands of the wicked and all the wickedness that's going on right now throughout the four corners of the earth. And, and you see the state of our people. You're not going to love this 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 way of life. It's, it's full of uh, unrighteousness. You understand what I'm saying? We in a world where our, our, our identity has been stolen. We, we, we've been raped, murdered, and, and uh, spoiled. And various other things, a polluted earth, you know, uh, wickedness that's, uh, has exceedingly polluted the whole earth so when you find out these these different things you psh, come on man this ain't living it says therefore rejoice he heavens he that dwell in them i'm sorry yeah it says therefore rejoice he heavens and he that dwell in them woe to the inhabitants of the earth of the whole earth that's why this global pandemic thing is going on. Enough to see for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath because he knew it, that he had but a short time. His time is running out, man. He have reached his pinnacle of power. That's why things are going on right now on the earth. That's why the time is being sped up. Because this, this man is about to lose his power. That's why you see these uh, chariot sightings, what they call UFOs about the four corners of the earth so frequently and it's going to be a violent violent takeover once you howl shy and the angelic forces show up so so that's why it says therefore rejoice man because we almost out this fucking hell hole man we almost out of this captivity you know what i'm saying and our kingdom shall be everlasting kingdom forever and ever man all right, so pretty much the next scripture I'm going to pull, Revelation 2 and 26. Revelation to, uh, start at, uh, 2 and 25. It says, but that which he have already, let's lock it, but that which he have already hold fast till I come, which is this truth, this knowledge, wisdom, understanding, man, especially how, how great Millstone is bringing it out. We got to be A, man. We're, we're on the winning side. And he that overcome it is all about overcoming, man. 
The Most High is going to put you through certain situations so you can overcome, so you can get stronger, not to destroy you. And keeping my works unto the end, man, unto the end of what? You know, until, uh, you know, Yahweh Shai show up. Like I said, some of us are going to be facing death. Some of us going to be, uh, man, cruel mock mockings and scourgings. That's another scripture I'm going to get. And some of us will escape. Some of us will get spiritual power, man. To him will I give power over the nations, and that's plural. Hoping he's, you know, we're going to rule over our people as well because the two-thirds are coming back in the kingdom. Reincarnation. You understand that we're going to rule over these nations, man. The so-called white race, Chinese, Japanese, African nations. Join ears with Yahweh Shai. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of potter shall they be broken to shivers. So our rulership will be a rigorous rulership over the whole earth. You understand? They ain't show us no mercy. They shall receive no mercy as well. Even as I receive of my father, I will give him the morning star. He that had an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. You understand? So pretty much you got to overcome. Let's go be put in these situations to overcome. You got to remember these scriptures right here. Because this is what we're dealing with right now is temporal. Okay? So what is this? Type in trials. Cruel mock mockings. One more for a second. Hebrews chapter 11. All right. Hebrews chapter 11, verse uh, 35. It says, Women received their dead to raise to life again, and others were tortured. All right. Not accepting deliverance that they might obtain a better resurrection. So the better resurrection is coming. When Yahweh shall return, we shall be immortals, man. So these are the things you got to have in your mind because you're going to be facing, you know, some crazy stuff, man. But the Lord's going to put the spirit on you, man, to to overcome all this stuff. And others had trial of cruel mockings. Some of us going to be faced with that. And scourgings, yea, moreover, of bonds and imprisonment. And there were stones. So this is what happens to the, the uh, disciples and the apostles. It says, there were stoned, there were sawn asunder, there were tempted, there were, were slain with the sword. They wander about in sheepskin and goatskin, being destitute, afflicted, of, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wander in deserts and in mountains and in dens and in caves of the earth. And these all have obtained a good report. All right? So you can be facing many different trials and and, and cruel mockings, you know, harsh uh, situations. But the elect is going to, you know, ones that's been preordained, pre predestined, preordained is going to overcome all this stuff, man. And these all having obtained a good report through faith, received not the promise. God um, having um, provided some better thing for us that they without us should not be made perfect. So what's coming is going to be a better promise man okay so fear not to giving all praises the point was in verse 39 so giving all praises to Yahweh Shimei Washai and to Yahweh Shimei Washai Shalom